Alright guys, welcome to episode 22 of the Let's Play walkthrough of Chrono Trigger. Now, as you can see, well, as you can remember, um, hopefully you remember, we just watched as Mount Wo collided down onto Earth. And now we have, and, um, Scala and Je Scala was taken by, what's his face, Dalton, back to the Kingdom of Zeal. So that is actually where we're hanging now. So, just find the Sky Palace, or Skyway, and Skywalk, I can't, I really can't remember his name, and just head back up here. Now, um... Make note, this is a note for all of you guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure you get the girl to plant to plant that um, tree that the girl of life gave her, the plant the seed that the girl of life gave her in Kajar, as well as scratch the news back in Kajar for a tab. Get the two tabs in Kajar. And also, make sure you found, found the secret room in Enasa and Kajar. No, yeah, I think it's Kajar. Otherwise, you won't be able to access them anymore. So, let's just continue on. And... There we go. Now, instead of watching you guys walk, uh, watch me go through all this again, I'm just going to go straight to the to the palace. Okay, actually, I'm just going to cut back. Um, in Kajar here, there is actually a new, and I believe that's him to, to my right. And let's see here. Yeah, he sells things. Is that Skala's Pendant? If you say yes... He will not sell you a single thing, so pick no. There we go. Welcome. Now what he does, he has the best armor and everything. The best everything right now for this part of the game. So if you have, go ahead and buy all five if you want, of course. But I have the mail, so it doesn't bother me very much. Um, yeah, as you can tell, my defenses aren't won't be drastically raised or, diff or, diff or different whatsoever. So yeah. This is where the other bookcase is, Kajar. Also, um, that new I was talking about, since I'm here, I'll show you guys anyways, um, is this one. Make sure in the Kingdom of Zeal that, no, in the palace, that you talked to a new there and got, and found out where to scratch the, found out where to scratch the news back. Scratch, scratch. Phew! Scratch, scratch. Teehee! And you get a cool little reward. Magic tab. Okay, so hopefully you followed um, my walkthrough, my walkthrough in the last episode. That way, you got all, everything that you needed from here, and that is actually it. Hopefully, you did every like I said. Hopefully, you did all the mini quests, in, or not the mini quests, but did everything you're supposed to. Especially that um, the one where you can plant the seed to access the side to access a side quest, and that side quest is actually pretty good. It gives you gives you enemies that drop a lot of experience and TP, so it'd be a good place to farm. So anyways, I believe we are at the king, or at the castle, palace now. Okay. This place is generally, is much, much more easier. So all you, oops, all you have to do is go to the Mammon machine and blow it up as your mission entails. So let's go straight ahead. Oh, um, when you fight the boss, you can, you can charm an item. So I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to take Marl with me. And just equip her with, uh, okay, just a little vest. Ruby vest, and now let's give you something better. Lightning. And, yeah, okay. That should, oh, bandana. Yikes. That's horrible. Okay, so what do we have here? Both triple attack, uh, nope, can't do anything. Third eye. Uh, since counter attack, might be useful. 75, okay, yeah, I like that. And the mammal machine is gone. Shit. Okay. So. Oh. Oops. There's somebody there. The Mammo Machines was moved to Roger Palace to obtain the raw energy of Lavos. Oh, these fools. If only they could see the future. Okay. So, now all you have to do is head to the center pathway to access the ocean. Oh. And there's a save point here, so I'm going to save. And kapoof. Let's go. Hey, look. There's news here. Okay. They don't do a damn thing. How about you? Uh, the Queen took Scala with her to the Ocean Palace. We Enlightened Ones will finally attain immortality. Which will also complete. Zeal will rule forever. Okay then. Look at that. Fooey. Why is a prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck on guard duty? Ha! There you are. I let the prophet go knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. But I've no use for you anymore. Your history. Okay guys, I'm not even going to go through a walkthrough with this guy. He is laughably easy. I believe he has only 3000 HP. And yeah, he is like... I'm not kidding. He's laughably easy. So, 
that attack looked like it hit for a lot, but in reality, it's it's um all it does is when it hits you, it reduces your HP by half. Now, the only thing you should see, as you can tell, <laughs> that was like 1,400 damage. As you can tell, it's going to take about three hits for me to finish this off. So, I'm going to charm the thing away from him. Power mill, yeah, that's it. And what you're going to want to do is keep your HP above um, um, 150, generally. Because once that half, once he uses it, um, well, once... Once he's beaten, he'll use a final attack, which is which will uh, generally hit you for about 150 damage. So, do your best to keep yourself above that. Yeah, so he's done. Thousand experience, three tech points, two thousand five hundred gold, and Chrono levels up. Hey, cool twin charm. I wonder what that is. No, I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. Okay, so what he's doing is he's. Well, I don't know if we'll see it, but we'll see. Ah, yes, he's escaping to the Ocean Palace. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. It looks like a, an actual gate. So anyways, guys, um, surprisingly enough, this is actually the end of this episode. I know, I know, it is incredibly short. But the reason being is because this chapter is incredibly short. So, yeah. Okay. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this walkthrough Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. And come back tomorrow for the next part. See you guys later.